All right, let's talk about solving mixture problems using systems of equations. And again, the really important thing to remember here is that a mixture problem means we're taking two of uh, two different things and mixing them to create a third. So in this case, we're going to talk about we're nuts. And they're a place that sells cashews for $7 per pound and peanuts for $2.50. The manager has decided to make a trail mix that combines the cashews and the peanuts. She wants the trail mix to sell for $4 per pound, and she doesn't want to lose any revenue due to mixing the trail mix versus selling the nuts alone. She wants it to work out perfectly. So how many pounds of cashews and how many pounds of peanuts are required to create 30 pounds of trail mix? So we're going to identify some key things. The cashews are $7 per pound. The peanuts are $2.50 per pound and we want our trail mix to sell for $4 per pound. The other thing that we know is that we want to create 30 pounds of trail mix. So, we're going to build a table to help us sort through this. Our amount is the pounds that we're buying. Our rate is the dollars per pound that we sell. And our value is the dollars. And we're going to mix cashews we're going to mix peanuts, and that's going to create our trail mix as our last item. And now we just need to fill in our table according to what information we have. And we know that the cashews sell for $7 a pound, we know that the peanuts sell for $250 a pound, and we know that we have our mix, I should change the color, let's make this green so it matches better, $250 and our mix is four dollars. And again, remember that our, you know, we need the four, really. The four is between the seven and the 250, which is really, really, really important. We also know that we have 30 pounds of trail mix. What we don't know is how many pounds of cashews and how many pounds of peanuts. Well, we multiply across and we get seven X. If we buy X pounds at seven dollars a pound, we'll spend seven X dollars. And 250 times Y for the peanuts and that has got to come out to $120 total, 30 times 4, in order to not lose any money. Now our two equations that we're going to get, our first one comes from the pound column. And we just add x plus y has to equal 30. We also know that 7x plus 2.5y has to equal 120. And from here, we have our system. And I like to use elimination on these problems because it's really, really, really straightforward. And while I'm using elimination, I'm going to get rid of the smaller do dollars per pound one. So I'm going to get rid of the y. So we're going to leave equation 2 exactly as it is, and we're going to subtract 2.5 times equation 1. So that's going to leave 7x plus 2.5y equals 120. And we're going to get minus 2.5x minus 2.5y equals minus 75. So, so 7x minus 2.5x is 4.5x, and that's going to be equal to 120 minus 75 is 45. When we divide 4.5 into 45, we end up with x is 10. So that means we need 10 pounds of cashews. And if we have 10 pounds of cashews, that means it's going to, we're going to spend $70 if we were buying just the cashews part. Well, to get the trail mix, we just need to figure out what's left, and that's 30 minus 10 is 20. I don't like the yellow. thought I would. It's 20, and 20 times 2.5 is 50, and 70 plus 50 is 120, 10 plus 20 is 30. So we know our answers are we need 10 pounds of cashews. And 20 pounds of peanuts.